Pakistan ke upar ek bahut badi A big war is imposed on Pakistan that has also been discussed in hadiths I mean it's been 70 years many political leaders have come even the military has ruled under the martial law but they didn't prosper in their plans as they had envisioned when imran khan eventually fails then he thinks about the reasons behind his failures and then he comes to know about my dreams and that they have also come true after which the army chief of pakistan also comes to know about my dreams then prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam appears in the dreams of army chief of pakistan and informs him that muhammad qasim has not lied about his dreams in fact his dreams are true and global events will happen exactly like qasim has been shown when did you start seeing such dreams bismillahir rahmanir rahim The first dream I saw was when I was about 5 years old. Then the next such dream was at the age of 13. Since I was 17 years old, I have regularly seen such visions in dreams and still to date I continue to have these dreams. Are you sharing these dreams to become popular? I have seen these dreams for over 28 years before today. I had not shared these dreams with anyone. If a person seeks popularity, fame or fortune by sharing something unique as this, then they would do though at an earlier age. When you are young, you naturally feel the need to be famous and for other people to acknowledge you. If I really intended to share these dreams for such reasons and on my own discourse, then I would have done so when I was younger. Now I am much older. and sharing these dreams are not of any personal value to me and i cannot benefit from this so why are you sharing these dreams then 20th or 22nd april 2014 for the first time i was told in my dream that i must share these dreams to the world so i was surprised that after all these years Why am I seeing such an instruction in my dream? Hence at first I did not do anything at the time and I waited. Then after this I saw Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in my dream instructing me that I must share these dreams with the world. December 2014 I saw Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in my dream and he said that I must share these dreams with the world. to save islam and pakistan when i was receiving these dreams i had no clue as to why i was seeing these dreams and for what purpose and what they mean it was after many years that i was told through a dream to share these dreams with the world when i saw these dreams i was shocked how to do this i was confused as to how i can convince people that these dreams are true even my own family wouldn't believe in these dreams prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told me to share these dreams with the world now you tell me if prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself asks you to do something in your dream will you refuse him there is no true muslim that will refuse to do what prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asks of them any true muslim would put their wealth and life to serve the command of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so i was the same that when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked me to share these dreams i was even prepared to give my like for the sake of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and yes i do get negative remarks comments and opinions about my dream truth is i do feel hurt but i only continue to do this work for prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam dreams can also be from shaitan or the devil how do we know your dreams are from allah well you can judge by yourself that these dreams are not from shaitan or devil but in fact from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself firstly in my earlier dreams i have been continuously instructed to avoid shirk and its forms in the modern society 
Now shaitan or the devil will not instruct someone in their dream and ask them to believe in Allah and to avoid committing shirk. He would do the exact opposite of that. Secondly, I have been instructed in dreams to praise and glorify Allah day and night. Once again, shaitan or the devil will not instruct anyone to praise Allah. He has sworn to do the opposite and we know this. And thirdly, I was instructed to send durood and salawat on Prophet Muhammad These three things are part of Islamic belief and shaitan or the devil will not come into anyone's dream to instruct them of any of these things. Then, in 2008, I was also shown in a dream that I should recite Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Falak and Surah An-Nas before sleeping so that I am protected from shaitan. Also, no Muslim will create falsehood and lie in the name of Prophet Muhammad and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if someone does continue to create lies and falsehood, then surely Allah will not continue to help them. What is your opinion about the political leaders? What will happen to Imran Khan? When Imran Khan fails, he wonders about the reason of his failures. It is at this point that he learns about my dreams and how they have come true. Then I have seen that I give him details about my dreams which I have seen and the reasons why he failed and how the events unfolded. Soon after this, the army chief of Pakistan comes to know about my dreams and he also inquires further details. Then I have seen in my dreams that Prophet Muhammad also appears in the dreams of the army chief of Pakistan and tells him in the dream that Qasim is not lying about his dreams and that the dreams are true and all the future events will unfold exactly as Qasim has seen in his dreams. So after this event, because the army chief then believes in my dreams, he takes a very bold step and the institutions and people of Pakistan plan according to these dreams. Why are you the only person who sees these dreams? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has absolute authority and power over everything. If Allah wishes, Allah can make the sun rise from the west. Allah does not choose any partners in his decisions, in what Allah wants to do. Allah Himself chooses people for His work and Allah knows best why He selected me for this work. Why didn't these dreams come to the army chief of Pakistan? Allah knows the truth and the reasons for everything. Indeed, Allah is most knowledgeable. If you see how Pakistan came into being, then you will notice that Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Baba A Qom, was selected for this by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And through him, a nation, a country was made for Muslims. You can see for yourself what kind of good deed I may have done or what Allah may have liked about me that I'm getting these dreams. It is only Allah's mercy that I'm having these dreams. What will happen to Pakistan now? Will we ever prosper or not? What I have been shown in the dreams is that until we clear this country from shirk and its forms, Allah's help will not come. Now you tell me, what is the meaning of Pakistan? It means a clean place, a place where no shirk is present or practiced. So if we want Allah's help, we must remove all forms of shirk and practices of shirk from this country. In 70 years of Pakistan's history, we have seen different political leaders and governments, different ideologies and plans. Every leader and political team has tried their best to achieve good for the country, prosperity amongst the people, economic growth, but we have not seen these outcomes. And all their plans did not come to fruition as they had thought. The main reason for this is that we have forgotten about shirk and acclimatized a way of living that promotes shirk. So in my dreams, I have been shown that when we remove shirk from Pakistan, then Allah helps us. And then our plans achieve exactly the outcomes we seek. And Allah's mercy and blessings are plentiful. Just like it was the case for Ibrahim salam, he broke the idols people worship to emphasize the importance of removing shirk. 
Similarly, Prophet Muhammad also broke the idols people worship after the victory over Makkah and cleaned the city from shirk. Now you can see that I'm not a very religious person myself. I am what you see in front of you. So what I have seen in my dreams is that the reasons why Allah helps me is because I protect myself from shirk and its forms. Hence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has helped me in spreading the message of these dreams. There are people from across the world whom I don't know and I have never met and they believe in these dreams. They translate these dreams in their own languages and share them with the people on their own accord. This would never have been possible without Allah's help. When will your dreams come true? As per my dreams, the first sign of my dreams coming true is that attempts will be made to turn Pakistan into Torah Bora. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect this country and its people. Just like it happened in the Middle East, that many countries were destroyed during the Arab Spring, the enemies of Islam will attempt to do the same in Pakistan. But Allah helps Pakistan and like I said that the message of my dream reaches the army chief of Pakistan and after this the institutions of Pakistan make plans according to my dreams. Then Allah helps Pakistan and we not only save Pakistan from danger but Pakistan prospers to great heights with Allah's mercy and blessings in a very short amount of time. In your opinion, what is the importance of dreams? In Islam, dreams have great significance. Prophet Muhammad has informed that prophethood and the concept of revelations wahi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have ended with him. But the predictions Bisharate about future will continue to guide the Muslim Ummah. Then the companions of Prophet Muhammad asked him, What is the meaning of predictions or Basharati? So the Prophet Muhammad replied by saying, True dreams. If you see from history, Nuruddin Zengi from the Turkish dynasty was guided through dreams and he saw that two people wanted to reach the grave of Prophet Muhammad So he searched the lands of Medina and found those people and brought them to justice. And those people had in fact reached very close to the grave of the Prophet What is your caste? Or what sect of Islam do you belong to? I only follow the religion of Prophet Muhammad and I will stay on this path insha'Allah. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I die with this faith and this religion. I am Sunni Muslim by tradition but I never actually understood the meaning and purpose of these sects. What I have been shown in dreams is that the path taken by Prophet Muhammad is the true and best path and I try to follow the same path towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have you shared these dreams with popular or important people? In the beginning, I tried my best to share my dreams via emails and website forums to the Pakistani government and even the army contacts. Then in January 2015, I started sharing these dreams publicly on the global internet. This is when people start following and believing in these dreams. I have no interest in any personal gain or benefit in sharing these dreams. If I had any such interest in coming out publicly for fame, then I would have done the live sessions about these dreams myself. But instead, some people who believe in these dreams, such as Avas Nasir and Imran Abbasi, they are the ones doing those live sessions and explaining the dreams. What do the scholars of Islam say about your dreams? 
I and some people who support and believe in my dreams have shared my dreams in every way we could with all the famous scholars of Islam um, that you see on social media today. But there was no interest or response from them on this. Will there be another war between Pakistan and India in the future? A big war will be imposed on Pakistan in the future, which is also known as Ghazwai Hin in hadiths of Prophet Muhammad In this war, Pakistan stands alone against all the enemies of Islam and Pakistan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps Pakistan with about 3,000 black jet fighters in this war. And Pakistan wins this war by Allah's mercy. After that, Pakistan enters the Middle East where a war is already raging at that time. And Pakistan defeats the superpowers like USA and Russia. And Pakistan not only defeats these superpowers, but claims back the land of Muslims lost in this war. Pakistan then helps rebuild those lands and established the original Islam of Prophet Muhammad in the world. According to your dreams, what is the biggest event that will happen next? And what happiness has been shown to you in dreams? The worst thing in my dream is the war against Muslims, where almost all Muslim countries are affected. You can call this World War III, and this war begins from the Middle East. Muslims lose Turkey and many important Middle Eastern countries, and I have seen very disturbing events and visions of this war in my dreams. I guess the good thing is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps Muslims and Pakistan. I have seen in my dreams that there are three castles protecting Islam. The last castle left in this war is Pakistan, and Allah helps Pakistan. Then Pakistan rules over the entire world, and there is a period of peace and prosperity for everyone in the world. Are you a puppet of the government or establishment? Even today, you can find and search the first posts I made on the internet when I began sharing my dreams. You can analyze this and judge for yourself that this is not a planned agenda. These posts were unprofessional and unplanned. The posts I initially shared on Facebook and YouTube. You can analyze the English used in these posts. And you can easily determine that these posts are from someone who is in primary school class 5 or 6. If an agency was to launch someone, then they will do so professionally and they will not want any flaw in their strategy. Their language will be professional, their content organized. All my history is on the internet and you can judge it for yourself. Most importantly, if the agency was to launch someone, they would choose someone who is already a popular personality or has a following amongst the people. Why would any establishment or agency choose a person who is not even known well in the neighborhood? Are there many people who believe in your dreams? I am a simple person. Not many people know me in my own neighborhood. When I started sharing these dreams, I was alone. But today, by Allah's mercy, there are many people from across the world who believe in these dreams. Almost all, actually, all the people who believe in these dreams, I haven't even met them in person. But they believe in the message of these dreams and on their own accord they make translations and videos into their languages to share with their community. Many people say that you dream of what you consciously think during the day and it is your subconscious showing you these dreams. In modern times there are many ulamas and scholars who deal with religious matters and teach Islam on a daily basis. Even amongst them, there aren't many that have 
dreams of such nature as I have seen. Despite them being more knowledgeable and talking about religion on a daily basis. And my dreams, there isn't just one, but there are many dreams. So this proves the fact that you don't have to be consciously thinking about something to have a related dream. History shows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always creates something unique. Therefore, if no one has had dreams like mine or shared them in the past or could create such dreams by themselves, then it truly means that these dreams are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone.